him like every Thanksgiving go how oh uh, hey hey why you decide to just give God some more praise you decide to do something different you decide to elevate yourself and when you do that not only are you gonna recognize you what are you gonna do next and say to him Mm -hmm. Make haste and come down. For today I must abide at thy house. He will abide in your house. Amen. He will live the very place you live. Amen. How is he going to do that? He's going to take part of you. He's going to come in you. You're going to feel, oh, I know, Lord, I, I believe that you are the Lord and you raised from the grave. And I believe that you are the Lord and Savior. So I know I'm saved. But now I, still need, I need to be elevated so these things can be broken off my life. And then he will come. The Holy Ghost, in other words, will come and live within you. That when things come in your life, you don't even have to worry about it. This scenario that what, what he put here is so beautiful, we have to really catch it. I heard this preach a hundred times, but I never heard it how God has given it to me today. He may have given it to him, I'm pretty sure he gave it to somebody else. I know he gave it to somebody else, but I have never heard it. You have to run from those things that's keeping you down. Keeping you from seeing Jesus for who he is. And once you run, then you have to elevate yourself. You got to elevate your prayer life. You can't just run and just keep on with the same old prayer. Every time you go to bed, you got your same ritual prayer. Ah, uh, ah, uh, the job in heaven. That is good. That's a good prayer. I'm not saying not to say that prayer. But you got to elevate it sometimes. When you're trying to get Jesus in your life in a special way, in a different way, in a new way, you got to elevate it. Amen. You got to elevate your life. Amen. And when you elevate it, He will not only help you, He's going to see you. Amen. And then after He sees you, He's going to abide in your house. You're catching that? Amen. That's a beautiful scenario. Amen. 